Hi, this is John Dennis at Time and Space. I'm very excited today to be able to uh, give you a walkthrough of a new sound library called Sculptor Live Impacts Module, and this is by Gothic Instruments, and it's exclusive to Time and Space. Um, and this library is very much designed towards creating um, impacts, wishes, drops and rises. And I suppose it's in many ways designed towards um, games, uh, sound designers, and um, for film and TV. Um, but it has many other applications as well, and it comes with many, many different um, presets as well. Um, so I think what I'll do first is just go through some of the sounds uh, very quickly so you can uh, get an idea of what this library can do. So as you can hear, some really impressive sounds there from Sculptor. Something that's important to mention here as well is that this uh, library requires the full version of Contact and will not work in the free player uh, as it uses Contact files and it's not a Contact library. Um, so what I'm going to do now uh, very quickly is just go through some of the uh, functions and features within the interface uh, so you can see how everything works and uh, we should generate some, some new sounds um, just have a general play around so you get a really good idea of how uh, everything comes together within Sculptor. So as you can see this is the main interface for Sculptor and over here on the left hand side you have the main folders um, for the different presets. So these are made up of impacts, monster percussion, wish impacts, low thunder, guest presets and user presets where you can save your own. Um, so you have the th sort of three main areas of, of Sculptor within the interface. Uh, and every impact is made up of two elements, uh, or a third if you have the pre-wish enabled. Uh, and each impact you can change the characteristics um, or sound within uh, that particular impact. If you just click over the, uh, the name here, you can see the drop-down menu appear. And you can do that in each of these and with the uh, pre-wish as well. So for the walkthrough, I've loaded up the Impacts Blast Intense preset. Um, and uh, I'm just going to quickly play through some of the sounds uh, and then I'll enable the pre-wish and change some of the presets within there and uh, also play around with some of the dials down here so you get a feel of how everything works. So I've selected this sample here um, and enter the uh, enable the pre wush. Um, you can quite clearly hear the the, the pre wush on that, and you can uh, alter the gap between um, when the pre wush ends and when the impact starts. So here it'll be very quick, and then now it'll be much longer. Uh, a little tip: if you press the Alt key. Um, so on that there, if I take, take the pre-wish off, and if you press the Alt key on the keyboard, uh, and then press the pre-wish, it adds the pre-wish to every sample within the key range. I'm just going to change some of the pre-wish uh, sounds here. We'll choose this sample, and I'll change them, just click in there, and then you've got the drop-down list. I'm also going to change um, some of the blast 
characteristics here. So look in there deep. Uh, you can change the levels here as well of each uh, of the two main impact elements. So this is the second impact element here, so I can turn that, let's pull that down. So you also have a further selection of uh, controls down here, starting with the velocity, pan, uh, filter, Q, which is the resonance, and also velocity to filter. Uh, this is very useful. Um, so on this particular sample, I've got the filter set down, so it's uh, fairly uh, kind of muffled. And then um, if I bring this up um, to nearly all the way, then if I press hard on the keyboard, it's uh, the filter is fully open. But if I press soft on the keyboard, you'll hear it's a muffled version. And then if I bring this all the way down, then it doesn't matter how uh, soft or hard I hit the key, it will always play the same. And then you also have tune here. Uh, decay. And release there. So uh, yeah, these are all very useful and uh, as always, all these can be assigned to uh, a MIDI controller. Just right click, uh, select learn, move the controller on your keyboard and then it'll be assigned um, to that uh, particular uh, feature of the interface. So down here you have the send levels for the reverb and delay. And uh, you can access the master effects just by clicking down here on the master effects tab. And uh, this takes you onto the main page where you can access all of the effects. And you have um, drive, compression, filter, and the delay and reverb. Um, the drive is, uh, is great because you can really add some, some punch uh, and crunch to the actual impact sounds. Uh, so if I play this one here, this is without the drive. And this is with the drive. Also have compression here as well. And the filter as well. You can get some really low subs in there uh, to create some interesting effects. And the delay as well. So just uh, play with this. Another feature that I really like at the top here is the random button and if you press this it will randomize all of the sounds uh, within each element of the blast so you can create some really uh, interesting and unique blast sounds. Uh, I'll just go through some of the sounds and I just keep pressing the random button so you can hear the difference. So that pretty much covers Sculptor Live Impacts module. And as I said earlier, this very much is geared towards um, anyone who's kind of in need of those big, deep uh, impact sounds uh, for deep booms, earthquakes, thunders, 
uh, and it whooshes and drops and rises, anything like that, uh, it, this is absolutely perfect for. For more information on Sculptor, please visit www.timespace.com.